Hello guys, it's Sean from Endless Gamers, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own Minecraft server. Um, basically, we'll be running this server on Bucket, so you just need to go to Bucket.org in the Bucket Forums. I'll put all the links in the description, don't worry. Now, when you get to the Bucket Forums, um, you will have the recommended builds over here on the side. Um, so this is all for Minecraft Beta 1.8. All, the only thing that would change in 1.9 is the craft bucket so basically when 1.9 comes out you just need to come back to the bucket forums and and get the 1.9 craft bucket now I would click on the recommended build top one there are four recommended builds um, each recommended build the higher version the less um, bugs it will have them I'm not mistaken I'm not sure um, now it will open this new window for you um, and as you can see over here, you have craft bucket snapshot snapshot dot jar. Now, what the hell was that? All right. Um, now, basically, all you need to do is click on this blue link here. When you click on that blue link, it will download the craft bucket snapshot dot jar snapshot dot jar. I can never say it properly. Um, now, I have one ready on my desktop over here. I'm sorry, it's full of items. Uh, here's the craft bucket snapshot dot jar. Now, basically, all you need to do is create a new text document, and we're going to name it Start Server. Now, you need to paste this into your Start Server in Notepad. Now, basically, I'm going to link this in the description, and all you need to do is copy and paste it. Now, if you're running a 64-bit version, you're just going to need to do, uh, wait, you're just gonna need to do the settings of program files to 64 or 86 I'm not sure what it is I always mix it up um, but yeah basically that's it you just you just need to change the program files to whatever it is um, if I'm not mistaken it's 86 percent but I'm not sure um, then you click file and save as and you need to save it as start server dot bat b a t now okay now now open the start server okay so now it's creating all the files that you need as you can see over here and it's creating the world now we can open the server um, properties file. Now wait, you will see server and properties file here. You need to right click that, open with, and make sure you open it with notepad because you won't be able to edit anything in your server if you don't have, oops, I'm sorry about that, if you won't have your server properties file opening with notepad. So basically this will just finishing making the spawn. When this is finished, you'll have everything done. And all you need to do is make your uh, server IP that your friends will connect to. So, all right, now uh, it's creating this as well. So I'm just going to minimize it and continue going with this. So basically, when you open the start server, you need to type CMD. This is if you're running Windows 7. Um, if you're running Windows XP, you need to... I'll just show you here. Um, you need to do run, the run command. If I'm not mistaken, it will be somewhere here. But you just run and you write CMD. When you open CMD, you need to type IP config. See, IP config. And you need to scroll up and find. Let me just find it here. If you're connected with an internet, um, local area connection with the wire it will be here if you connect it wireless it will be in the wireless LAN adapter so basically um, in either one of them you need to find the IPv4 address which is this so basically it's 192.168.1.101 um, this changes sometimes so basically if you start your server and you see it's not working you need to change it to let's say um, you just come here, type IP config, and this would have been changed. Usually, the last three numbers for me. And when it changes, you need to change it in the servity, service property file as well. So um, that's just it. Um, okay, so the server is done. All you need to do is type stop now, and it will say saving chunks. 
Now once it saves, it's always slow the first time you do it. The second time round it won't be that much. There we go. Now, when you open the server properties file, you need to go to um, server IP. You'll find it over here and type 192.168.1.101 or whichever IPv4 address you have. Now, let's go to the commands here. Level name is the name of your server um, or the name of your world, really. Um, but that will pop up when someone tries to connect to you. Um, allow the nether true is allowing the nether to be in the multiplayer. Or I think false won't let it be there, but I'll write true. View distance, that's the normal view distance. Spawn monster is um, true. Now, online mode. Online mode is if your friends have cracked versions. Crack versions of the game. You kind you have to make this too false. Online mode is for premium people only. So basically, I'll leave that at true. Difficulty is a server difficulty. Game mode zero is in survival mode and one is in creative mode. So I'm gonna leave it at zero. Span uh, sp sorry spawn animals true. What? Spawn sorry about that once again. Um, spawn animals true. Um, max players you can do it to. You can do it 9,000 if you want, but basically 9,000 people won't be able to run in your server. Basically, your maximum would be, let, let's give an example, let's say 8. After 8 players, it will start lagging a lot. So basically, the server will accept 9,000 players, but you won't be able to play properly. Um, the server will probably crash as well. So PvP, true. I'm going to make that too false. Level seed, you can put the seed of the world you want here. The server port remains always 25565, always. Allow flight, you can either do it false or true, I'm going to make it true. A whitelist is when you, let's say, my whitelist, um, my nickname is Shawnee112, I need to put the name in the whitelist so I can log in. If I'm not on the whitelist, I won't be able to go into the server, so I'm just going to leave that at false. And you do save. Now, to port forward all you need to do is go onto your search engine and type 192.168.1.1 login then this is an example for mine um, mine is way different um, than probably yours all you need to find is forwarding or maybe firewall and there will be virtual servers this is mine I'm talking about yours could be different um, but they're, they all fall under the same level probably it could be under firewall or port forwarding and just go and find something with servers or port forwarding and um, now this is my, my team speak server but basically you need to focus on this now I'm just gonna add a new one for your guys sakes so the server port will be your IPv4 address so it will be 192.168.1.101 uh, no, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. The server port is 25565, and the IP addresses, uh, I mixed them up, I didn't even realize, 101. The protocol is both, so all. It needs to be both TCP and U UDP, so all of them. Status it is enabled, and I never do the common service port. I don't understand what is this, I'm gonna start cussing at it now. And all you need to do is save. Um, now, if the IPv4 address changes, all you need to do is come here and click modify. And let's say change it to five. You just do that, and it uh, and then you click save, and it will be saved as 192.168.1.105, and people will be able to comment on that. Now, um, to find to find your IP address, you need to go to what's my IP dot net. Oh, sorry, dot org. Now. Basically, this will tell you your IP address, and your friends to connect to your server will need to connect to this IP address. Now, you to co you yourself to connect to your own server, and anyone in your house that's connected to your Wi-Fi must type 192.168.1.101. But your friends, which aren't connected to your server, need to type your IP address. So basically, you'll give this IP address to your friends, and um, that's just it, basically. Now, I'll, I'm just going to show you that the server works. I'm starting up the server. 
I'll also show you a later in this inch how to put plugins on Bucket. Uh, basically, the server is now starting. And okay, that's done. Now I'm just gonna open Minecraft. Yeah, everything's done here. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot, a lot of lag on my computer. I guess if I open Minecraft, so I don't think I'm gonna open Minecraft. But I guarantee you, this works. Um, nah, I'll, sh I'll just show you anyway. Um, okay. Um, let me just wait for Minecraft to load here. I'm sorry for this, guys. It's taking so long. Hello, Mojang. Alright, so basically you just go multiplayer. Add server. Just type home or something. Home. And you need to type 192.168.1.101. As you can see, it's on. Join server. And that's it guys, I'm logged in. And there really won't be any lag at all. The lag's from my computer, not from the server. Um, basically, if you're gonna run a server with a wire, an internet cable, instead of Wi-Fi, it will be way better, and you'll see way much better results. But I recommend playing, um, hosting a server from two different computers. That's why I host my server from my laptop, and I put my laptop exactly near the router, and I play from my computer, and I barely find a lag. We sometimes play 15 people and I won't have any lag. But basically don't run any programs besides your server and leave your ser um, leave your laptop near the router. That's what I do. Um, oh. Alright, I need to check this out. This is really pissing me off now. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. and Please rate, comment and subscribe. And thanks for all the views guys. And uh, um, people subscribe to me, so thanks. And hope this worked for you guys. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and um, please please subscribe guys it will really help um and so thanks and thanks for watching if this was endless gamers and peace out guys